In this video, we are going to solve um, question number two out of files in JNT R18 C language syllabus. For that, what I did was I simply copy pasted the program here and created a .c file. So before solving this problem, we need to understand certain things about files. Basically, when it comes to files, we are going to do only three operations. Okay, uh, first thing that we are going to do is open the file and read or write stuff into that and close the file that's it like any other physical file that we normally do we'll take a file open it uh, whether we wanted to read it or write it and then we are going to close it let's look at the syntax for opening a file so basically um, uh, you have this type called file like the data type that we normally have int care likewise we have this file type okay this is a pointer that actually points to the file that you wanted to open it clearly says that fp is a pointer to a file and f open returns a pointer to a file and also let's see an example okay uh, this is how we declare a file pointer and we open the file and name is where we are going to give the name of the file and the mode whether you wanted to open the file in read mode or write mode or append mode depending on the mode the file will be opened accordingly and the file pointer will be returned and it will be stored in fp so one example is you can actually declare um, a file pointer like this and go ahead fp and f open this is some uh, file location okay there is this file one.txt i am opening it in read mode or means nothing but read mode or simplify or simply we can actually write in a single line like this so after you open the file we are supposed to either read or write data into the file so basically uh, if you are looking at this video you might have already solved certain problems in c language okay so we are very much familiar with uh, printf and scanf printf is normally pointed to the monitor okay or the screen standard output and scanf always points to uh, the keyboard okay and similarly we have put care and get care put care is always pointed to the screen standard output and get care is always pointed to the keyboard okay but when it comes to files it is slightly different this time we are supposed to have functions or that are pointed to files instead of this monitor or keyboard so here we can see two functions get c and put c get c is basically to read the data from the file and put c is simply to put data into the file okay or write data into the file the syntax also you can see uh, this is a function uh, and it takes an argument all you have to do is a file pointer pass the file pointer and uh, you will see the data is being read uh, character by character from that file similarly when it comes to put c you are going to put the character here okay uh, and then uh, uh, whatever you put here that character will be written into the file or the file pointer that you normally give here we'll we'll try to use the same in our problem so finally we are supposed to close the file and the syntax for it is simply f close and the file pointer so the main functions that we need uh, to kick off a c program like main function printf scan of all those things i made a separate video if you'd like to know about that i highly encourage you to watch that video before actually solving this problem so let's dive in and start coding void main and i'm going to use include stdio.h and the first i need to open the file for that let's bring up the uh, syntax that we used and simply i'm going to copy paste that here so basically i'm going to create a file here and i'm going to name it as file.txt and here um, we are converting uh, upper to lower um, the content that we receive in file the content that we receive in file okay if you carefully see i kept some capitals so basically what what is selling replacing all lowercase letters with their uppercase equivalent so okay, no problem so these are like e a these are lowercase what we are supposed to do we are supposed to uh, replace with them with uppercase letter okay i created the file i'm going to use the same here file.txt and that's it and first we need to check whether if if that file is not there simply it will return null so i'm going to check printf 
If it is null, that means unable to find the file. And then I'm gonna directly exit. So for exit to work, we are supposed to include a header file, stdlib.h. That's it. And now what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to read the data from the file. For that, we have getc function. Let's bring up uh, getc syntax. And simply I'm supposed to do is nc is equal to getc of that file pointer and it will it will be read okay uh, till all the contents are over so how do we know whether the contents are over or not because uh, once the content is over it will actually return eof end of file so simply i'm going to check against it eof and then till then what i'm supposed to do is i'll remove this lower to upper right so i'm supposed to change it to upper Mm, and should i have to print it or what write a c program which copies one file to another replace color so i need to write to another file so i need to have put c let's bring up the put c syntax as well okay put c all we have to do is put c and the character that we want to put into the file so i need to I have another file and i'll name it as file pointer one i need to open it in write and i'll name it as file one okay so this file i'm opening it to read and this file i am opening it in write mode in order to read the contents from here and convert to upper letter uh, uppercase and then finally write the same to this file so i'm gonna simply put fp1 here so what it is doing is and finally i'll close okay f close fp and then have close f one but basically what we're doing is we're simply copying the contents of this file to another file but we are not doing any uppercase okay we are supposed to do uppercase for that we are supposed to use a function called to upper that's it so to upper for that to work the heavy lifting is already done by a library called c type dot h that's it so this the definition of this function is there in this header file all we have to do is use that header file and get the stuff done my program looks good let's go ahead and uh, compile it and execute and check so i'm gonna open the file okay and then gcc to lowercase it's not too lowercase basically it's too uppercase okay um and my a dot out is opened and see file one dot text has come and let's check it out see everything is in uppercase now so our function is working fine and we successfully solve this problem thank you all for watching this video if you like the video please go ahead and like the video share and subscribe for more similar tech content